couple of weeks of training camp been like for you kind of assimilating into this offense? Yeah, it's been great for us. Uh, it's a learning new experience for everybody on the offense just because you got a new offense coming in with uh, Dave. And I think that the most important thing for us right now is just to get the fundamentals and the details down, really understand the offense, how it works, how it's constructed, and then kind of as you go weeks on, just advance your, uh, your understanding of it a little bit by little. What's the feeling heading into this, this first preseason game amongst the team? Are you all just eager to get out there and play a game? Yeah, I think it's definitely excitement for everybody, um, especially the young guys. You know, I'm going into year six now, but I know for a lot of the young guys, it's going to be, you know, first NFL game ever for them. So uh, I remember that feeling as I was young. And I think just the, the number one thing to understand is just don't let the emotions take too much of you. Just hone in on your fundamentals, hone in your details, hone in on your rules, and kind of just let everything else, you know, play its role, play itself. I always tell the guys, you know, it's just practice just with a full stadium now. That's it. What excited you about coming to Tampa and playing for this team, especially with a lot of the talent around on this roster? Yeah, um, for me, it was just the opportunity. You know, I, I know how they feel about Rashad White, but just, you know, having the, the fair opportunity to, to go win a job and, you know, try to carve out a role for myself. Um, love the veterans they have on the offense. Love Big Worths up front, Ryan Jensen up front. Love CG and uh, Mike, obviously. So just, you know, be able to come in and already have, you know, continuity and a, a winning culture. That's really what excited me the most. How would you describe uh, Rashad White and your time by him so far? Um, I love Rashad White, man. Uh, in many ways, you know, he reminded me of myself younger in terms of, like, mentality, just love for the game, how he appreciates the game, how he approaches the game, how he always wants to get better. So, you know, if I could play just a small role in, you know, whatever, I, whatever advice I could offer him based off of things I've seen, based off of things that I've experienced in my life through this NFL, how to handle yourself on the field, how to handle yourself off the field, trying to teach him a little bit about taxes, help him save his money a little bit, you know, so I love Rashad, man. You talked about last year, you didn't feel like you played up to your standard, right? The right, you yep. How have, you, how have you approached this camp, and are you feeling yourself yeah. again? Big, big time for me, uh, big time mental, just mental strength, mental capacity, just to kind of wash that away. Uh, you know, I'm a good player in this league. I've been a good player in this league. Last year was what it was. I'm grateful to just have another opportunity to be in this league. And, um, like, you know, I really honed in on just my mentality, my meditation, my spirituality, just connecting with myself, understanding myself, and understanding that everybody has their own journey. You know, we all go through highs and lows, and it's about, you know, learning through the lows and just learning those experiences. Do you find that the running back room is helping each other? I mean, it's a new offense yeah. this season, so everyone's kind of on the same page there. But you also have the most amount of experience in the NFL versus everyone yeah. else kind of being young and up and coming. Yeah, um, it's a great running back room. You know, uh, we all – we all kind of have our own unique personalities, but uh, it definitely blends well, and we're all just trying to help each other be the best that we can. You know, I always tell the guys it's important to like hone in on fellowship. We call it fellowship where I was in Arizona, just always building relationships with, with each other on the field, off the field. Just kind of, you know, learn about your brother, learn about your teammate, because, you know, when this thing is over, it's over, and all you're going to have is just those memories. And I just try to, you know, reiterate to the guys, man, it's good to build strong memories, strong relationships with people that, you know, you'll be connected with for the rest of your life. Has to be encouraging. You know, Dave Canales comes in here, and as a running back, you guys know you're going to touch the football a lot, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, I love the outside zone scheme. You know, I feel like that's a, it's one of the best running styles in the NFL. Just be able to laterally stretch the defense, be able to naturally build lanes. I think we have a really good old line for it as well. And then the the thing that I love most about the offense is just kind of mirroring. Everything mirrors each other. So you know, the outside zone built off the naked, it's built off the boots, which helps us out with the play action pass and setting up the pass game. Giving Rashad some advice yeah. and you know taking a younger guy under your wing. Have you seen that um, throughout the locker room and maybe just different position groups when you're yeah. out there? Oh, for sure. Like, you see Levante talking with Dennis all the time. Um, I think you definitely see – I know he's been injured right now. I can't see, but with Vita and Cansey, I think that it's just important to, to catch young guys up to speed, especially young guys who are going to have a vital role for this team. You know, um, coming in 23, 22 years old, you know, playing big-time minutes, playing big-time roles in the NFL league. It's a lot of pressure. Um, but at the same time, you know, the youth, they kind of don't even realize it. So that's, that's also the beauty of it. But just, you know, again, honing in on our experience, just, you know, letting them know what to expect, you know, how to deal with the highs and the lows of this league. Jason, are there things about your game that you're looking to improve this year that you want to elevate? Yeah, so for me, especially just my, my catching the ball, I've always had for sure hands my whole first four years. Again, last year was what it was. I struggled immensely. You know, there's no hiding from it. Um, so just for me, always getting, just continuing to get back to that third down back row. I felt like... You know, going into the league last year, I was one of the best third down backs and one of the most versatile backs. 
I still am that. You know, I'm going to stand on that and just continue to improve my way as, as I can on the football field. How are you liking uh, Dave Canales' coaching style, and how is it different yeah. from what you've I love Dave. Dave's very positive, uh, very positive guy. I'm, I'm big on positivity and just good energy. But uh, love Dave, love what he brings to the team. Um, he has a big – he always has a big uh, – Emphasis on just resetting yourself after a bad play, whatever it is. Everyone has their own different reset focus, and just to be able to reset yourself as an offense. Because again, you know, NFL is all about ebbs and flows, and just being able to hone back in, focus on the assignment, and continue to get better. Christian Works is moving over to the left side uh -huh. uh, to play left tackle, and he'll be blocking for you, of course. Would you have known that he's playing like in a new spot? If, if yeah, I mean, I follow the NFL, so I'm a, I'm a fan. Uh, so I knew Wurst was always at right tackle because they had uh, Donovan Smith, I believe, at left. Um, I don't think it's going to be a struggle for him. Wurst is one of the best tackles in the whole NFL, you know, arguably the best. So I think he'll be just fine. So it looks like he's been playing there for a very yeah. long time. I mean, I, he played there at Iowa, I believe, yeah. right? So, like, I know he dealt with two years, you know, going to the right side. But, I mean, Wurst is an elite football player, so he'll be fine. Anything else? All right, thank you. Appreciate it.